Are you a powerhouse and thinking men might find you intimidating because of it? Maybe you have a big life and career goals and you're feeling like your husband seems unsupportive or not at the same level. Well, you're not alone and it's time to set the record straight. Do strong women intimidate men? Hey ladies, welcome back to the channel. Mireille Nicole here, relationship coach for women who want to live their best life. I'm all about guiding you towards your happily ever after and helping you tackle the tough stuff in love with grace and wisdom. If you've been in my world for a while now, you'll know that I record these videos because I want to help you realize that you have so much more power in your marriage, in your relationship or dating life than you currently think. Today we're diving into a topic that's been buzzing around a lot lately. Do strong women intimidate men? If you've ever wondered about this or felt this way yourself, stick around because we're about to unpack it all. Let me know in the comments if you consider yourself a strong woman and if so, make Make sure to download the relationship blueprint for high achieving women. I'll put the link in the description and the comments below. First, let's define what we mean by a strong woman. The concept of strong women being intimidating can stem from various societal perceptions and individual experiences. We see it portrayed in movies or we experience it in the workplace. Maybe you're dating and you've noticed men shrink back or ghost you when you share your big ambitions or it seems like you're just too much for them. Maybe you're married and you notice you're your man goes quiet when you voice a strong opinion or he seems lazy compared to your huge goals and you feel distance growing between the two of you because of that. Let's start off by talking about what makes a strong woman. A strong woman can be defined in several ways and I'm going to talk about three ways in this video. The first way a woman can be strong is in terms of her career. You're successful, perhaps you're earning a six-figure income in the corporate world or you're running your own business. Number two, you can be strong in your opinion. You have solid thoughts and beliefs that you live by and you stick to. Number three, maybe you're strong physically in the sense that you're athletic, you're sporty, you're dedicated to maintaining your health and your fitness. Now, shouldn't these be assets? Like, shouldn't this actually be super attractive to a man? You would think, right? So why might it seem like strong women are intimidating? Let's dig into this. Often strong women bring a lot of masculine energy into their relationships and this energy Energy is fantastic in your career or your business or your, for your personal goals. It's what drives your ambition and your successes. However, the challenge arises when this energy spills over into your romantic relationships. You might not know how to disconnect from this masculine energy. You might not even realize you're in that energy at all. But this can create a dynamic where it feels like there's no room for the man to step into his masculine role. Many women are looking for that strong masculine man or wishing their husband would be more like that. And I'd say a lot of times it's so that we strong women can soften a bit and chill and relax and be our goddess selves. The thing is we believe the strong masculine man will soften us when in fact we need to be in our feminine so the man can step into it or be drawn to us. Now this isn't about changing who you are but it's about balancing your energy. You can still be super super strong and in your feminine essence. And that's where I see so many women get it wrong. Feminine energy is strong, but it's a totally different approach to strength that we're not used to because we're in the habit of directing our lives or chasing our goals or managing our careers or households. So what can you do about it? My first piece of advice to you is going to be to stop comparing your ambitions to your partners or the guys that you're dating. It's natural to want everyone around us to be just as driven as we are or be driven in the same way that we are, but this can be a trap. Remember that ambition can come in many different forms. Like for example, my ambition comes from sharing my knowledge here, right? My experience with, with the world, coaching women, working with others. My husband's ambition comes from refining his expertise, honing new skills. He's in this phase right now where he's learning something new and I'm like, oh my gosh, you should start a YouTube channel. But you know, he's like, you know, that's just not his thing. And that is okay. The thing is, there are a lot of quotes out there and mindset people who say things like, you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. And guess what? You're probably going to spend the most time with your partner. While there's some truth to that, it doesn't mean your partner has to necessarily match the way you express your ambitions or beliefs in the exact same way. If he's got a different focus for his career, if he expresses himself differently, or maybe in the way that he takes care of himself, it doesn't diminish your value or his. 
is. So instead, I encourage you to focus on how you guys can both become a power couple in your unique way. Polarity is super important when it comes to attraction and keeping the spark alive in love. So how can you leverage each other's strengths? How can you learn from your differences? This isn't about lowering your standards or tolerating good enough. If there's true deep love or attraction there, it's about recognizing how both of you can grow as a couple, acknowledging it, and showing admiration where it's due. My second piece of advice for you is I invite you to put as much focus on mastering the skills you need for a successful love life as you do on your career, your health goals, or your personal goals. As a strong woman, redirect some of that strength towards becoming knowledgeable about men and what they value and what motivates them towards learning to communicate in a way that you'll be heard and creates a safe environment for him to open up in to argue in a way where you guys aren't on opposing teams or trying to use your strengths against one another to win or to impose your view on the other person use your strength to your advantage in relationships not to your demise most importantly and this is a huge one use your strength to develop the ability to look at your own reflection in the mirror. This is actually a really tough thing to do. It requires a lot of strength. Are you hiding behind this strong woman? Is this strong woman actually sabotaging you? Obviously, this is easier said than done, but just like you train for fitness, train your relationship skills. Just like you obsess over personal development, obsess over becoming an amazing partner so you can experience an amazing love life. Attraction, communication, resolving conflicts, the trifecta, relationship trifecta I talk about all the time. They're all like muscles that you get to develop. And if you'd like support with this, make sure to reach out to me. This is exactly what I coach women on. And if you haven't already, make sure to download the relationship blueprint for high achieving women. I'll put the link in the description and in the comments below. So do strong women intimidate men? The answer lies in how we balance our energies and work on our relationships with the same dedication we give to all of our goals. Being strong is a gift and when balanced, it creates powerful and loving partnerships. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any new videos that I post. Now make sure to watch this video next.